Hello, I am going to be talking today about one of my favorite things to talk about, and that would be corgis. More specifically, I will be speaking about the Cardigan Welsh Corgi, which there are two distinct breeds of corgis, and most people are only aware of the Pembroke Welsh Corgi, which is the type of corgi that Queen Elizabeth had. Um, but the older and the original breed is called the Cardigan Welsh Corgi, and they were from Cardiganshire. Uh, they were brought to Wales by the Celts in around 1200 BC. Uh, they too are herders. They are known to be more of a highland herder rather than the Pembrokes, which were used in lowland areas. Uh, cardigans can herd sheep, cattle, um, horses even, their low body structure, they're long and low, um, and that helped them from not getting kicked, I guess is what they say. Um, cardigans keep their tails, unlike Pembrokes, who have their tails docked at about three days after they are born. Um, the tip of a cardigan's tail is white, and that is called the shepherd's lantern. I almost forgot the term. Basically, it was used to help their handlers see them while they were out doing field work. Um, cardigans are my favorite thing because I own four, and currently my girl just had puppies last night, so I've been up all night. <laughs> um, so we have eight cardigans in the house right now, four little babies, and then our four big dogs. I say big, they're dwarf. Uh, the word corgi actually is Welsh. Um, it's actually two words. Cor meaning dwarf and gi, which is actually key in Wales, um, but meaning dog. Somehow it got turned into corgi over the years, so that's what we call them. Um, these guys are the most loyal dog of any breed I've ever owned or fostered, and getting ready for this speech, I added up the number of dogs that I've had throughout my life, and I'm sitting right around 26, um, and those breeds I've either owned or fostered everywhere from Great Danes, German Shepherds, um, Pit Bulls, Rottweilers, down to little ankle biters like Shih Tzus and um, Pomeranians. So, oh, and Pugs. Had a Pug as well. They are the most loyal dog that I've ever owned. Um, and their personalities, although they are considered a dwarf breed, their personalities are bigger than any St. Bernard or uh, Great Dane that I've ever been around. So I think that if you are looking for a new favorite breed, you should definitely do some research into the Cardigan Welsh Corgis, or just Corgis in general. But uh, you'd have to be a high energy, kind of family or person to um, own them because they are herders and that is their natural instinct is to herd. They will herd tiny humans, animals, everything. So definitely you should look them up.